Um, this is our home. Um, 42 years ago, Tom Butters, the athletic director, took a chance on me. And when he offered me the job, he said, it's not your job, it's your family's job. And he set the standard right away of saying, whatever you're doing, whatever, include your family. And we have taken that and everyone, that's what Duke is about. And so our family has grown up here. You know, 10 grandchildren, our three beautiful daughters. Uh, and we have absolutely loved being part of the Duke family. Um, it's hard for me to believe this is over. And uh, um, so I'm just gonna say the regular season's over, all right? <laughs> Most people don't under, there's no way you can understand the commitment that my family has made to me. Uh, the many hours, the days, the weeks, or whatever, that I was able to jump in the deep end with our program, and uh, they allowed me to do that. I think they allowed me to do it because they knew I loved it. They loved me and I love them. And you don't do this without that level of support. I never, from my three daughters, had them say, Dad, you love basketball more than me. Uh, believe me, that's said, that can be said a lot. It's never been said because it's not right. I love my family more than basketball. But my family loves basketball too. <laughs> and that's what's made this so incredibly good. Uh, the you know, President Price, you know, Mickey and I are going to stay on uh, after the season is over to be ambassadors for the school. Um, <laughs> but when, when I was 16 years old, wearing number 44, um, I had a coach that really believed in me. And I had a priest that explained life to me in a way that a 16-year-old inner-city Catholic kid needed to have it explained to him. I knew then that I wanted to be a coach. And I've, I've done what I've loved my whole life. I didn't realize that I would be doing it for 42 years at the place that I loved. And when you combine the coaching and the place and the city of Durham all together, you can't be any luckier than me. Um, yeah. I'm, I want to thank all of you yeah, you know, all of you, and especially you guys. Um, I tried to do with you what my coach did when I was 16. And for the most part, I think it worked. And I think that's why we have the brotherhood. Um, that's not going to go away. You know, it's not going to go away. You know, we have a great succession plan. You know, John Shire, 
and Marcel. will carry on the tradition of Duke basketball and the brotherhood. And uh, you can count on that. But for you guys to show up today, for me and my family, means the world to me. Um, it, it, um, we didn't play well. And there were times when you didn't either. Uh, not for long, not for long. And hopefully today, for our program, this program right now, is a great learning experience. It's a great learning experience. First of all, to learn Look what you're a part of. Look, are you kidding me? You know, are you kidding me? We need to fight for Duke. We need to fight for the Brotherhood. And we need to fight with all of our might through the remainder of this season. All right? Then. I'll be ready to get the hell out of here, all right? <laughs> all right? Finally, you know, um, Mickey and I in June will be married for 53 years, all right? We are both married at the age of 12, and, uh, <laughs> but we got married on graduation day at West Point. And uh, um, I never take my wedding ring off, nor do I take my West Point ring off, except one time the stone was broken, and Mickey took it, and I had a black stone in there, and she had a Duke stone put in. And so I never take this. My family, my alma mater, and my school are with me all the time. For all the guys in the audience, I have learned by having four of the most beautiful women in my life all the time, the wisdom of them, even when I didn't want to hear their wisdom. <laughs> and so all these banners, yeah, there are a lot of them, and there'll be one more because we, we did. Look, I'm not talking about that one. Uh, there'll be one here, definitely, because my team, they won the regular season title. All right? And even though you don't think right now I do, I love you guys. <laughs> I love what we're gonna do from learning what happened today as we move forward. But for my entire family, all these munchkins here, uh, thank you. Like, this has been so darn good. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would have a round of applause for your head coach, Mike Krzyzewski.